and now it's December. We made it through 2020. New South Wales is having a rough end to the year, but as a country, we've done pretty well. Some things are better. For the first time in history, we know the names of all our premiers. Men have finally learned the importance of washing their hands. And there's no pressure to hug relatives we don't love. Australia's often called the lucky country, but the idea gets a bit misunderstood. When Donald Horne coined the phrase in the 60s, he reckoned Australia didn't really deserve its luck because its leaders were second rate. And unless Australia lifted its game, that luck would one day run out. Well, this year, the world's luck ran out. And as it turned out, our little country did brilliantly. It did involve some luck, like, well, being an island. It meant one less way for the virus to get in. Unless, of course, it came by cruise ship, obviously. But when it came to the big stuff, luck really had nothing to do with it. Because COVID is both a health crisis and an economic crisis, and countries had to choose which one to tackle first. Some put their economies first and ended up failing at both. They're heading into Christmas, facing a third wave, a growing health catastrophe and an economic disaster. In Australia, our second-rate leaders listened to the scientists instead of the sceptics and figured out that you can't solve the economic problem without solving the health problem first. But instead of thanking our leaders, we should thank those who that choice affected most, whose jobs and businesses disappeared overnight through no fault of their own. In 2020, they suffered for the rest of us, and in 2021, we should be here for them. If 2020 has taught us anything, it's that we don't need to be a lucky country, just a clever country. Doing the hard things now pays off down the track. Staying cooped up indoors through the year means that we are now free to go outside, to breathe the air and to live our lives. Jesus, hot out there. Now, I am staying in. What is on the telly? Oh, I missed the yearly. Oh, well, catch it on iView.